Oh, man. Guys, this tastes terrible. It's like one of those rehydration drinks that you buy at the shop. It's supposed to be good for your stomach and just healthy for you, right? All right. It's like, man, it looks like soapy water, man. Look at it. It tastes disgusting. It's like someone farted in the glass. However, it's good for me, I think. <laughs> man, that stuff tastes terrible. It's got like a really bad aftertaste to it as well. Hello everybody, welcome back to another live stream. It's been a while, been up and down and whatnot, but uh, how, you, how you doing? You know, been a long time. I got some good news by the way. So, if you guys haven't been following the channel for quite some time, I had a copyright strike from another 7 Days to Die content creator, and guess what? I fought it and I won. So, um... The copyright strike is now gone, the video is reinstated, you can go watch it again, and I'm just so happy that um, I I pushed forward and I, I pushed for it, right? Instead of backing up and being scared and whatnot, I just pushed for it, man, and, and I won. So, that's great. I'm really happy about that, I'm happy that the video is back, and I think in all fairness, it, it's meant to be back anyway. It's just fair, the way it is. And now I can talk about it, because before I wasn't going to talk about it, because if that person decided to take it to court, then it would be a problem. But now I'm going to talk about it, I don't care. But yeah, how's how's everyone been doing? We're playing a new mod tonight, guys. We're playing uh, Wozak, if I'm saying it correctly. I have no idea. Never played it before. It could be frustrating. It could not be frustrating. I'm not sure what we're going to actually deal with tonight. But we'll take it slow. We'll just kind of experience the mod for the first time and see where we end up with it. Yeah, I'm gonna load that up in a second and then we can go and give it a try. It's gonna take a long time to load, so just keep an eye, keep it, keep your heads up with that. Right, and by the way, Yvonne, thank you so much for the early donation. You sent over 20. Thank you, welcome back, hope you feel better. I'm okay, I'm not 100%, I can tell you that, but I'm okay. All right, uh, it can't be tasty f Oh, and good for you. That's against the... Yeah, that's right, right? You know when you get, like, medicine that tastes terrible, but it's, like, medicine that's supposed to be good for you? Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. Ugh. Man. It is horrible. Why couldn't they put, like, flavor in it or something? Like, I don't know. It's it's supposed to be apple flavor, but I don't taste the apple in that. Should have got gone for something a bit stronger. Like lemon. Right, uh, this, wait, um, does this mean I now have two videos that mention me? Yeah, you do actually, yeah, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> you got two now, look at you all fancy. You all so fancy, right, the game should load up in a second. There you go. This is what the, uh, the menu looks like, I thought it looks really good by the way. I think it looks really nice. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna continue game, I've already set up a game, and, yeah. Just load it up and get get to playing. See where where this night takes us. It's probably going to be bad because I've never ever played this mod ever. And usually, learning new mods is a bad thing for me on the channel. So we'll we shall see. Uh, Robo has been a member for three months. We stand by you. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. I mean, are you gonna? Are you gonna is it gonna be a fourth month? Huh? Huh? Are you gonna do for the fourth month? Victory! Yes, victory. Yeah, I learned a lot about that, guys. That copyright strike that I um, that I got, I learned a lot. I learned a hell of a lot. In fact, in, in some ways, it's a good thing. Um, Flip Flop has been a member for 38 months. And Flip Flop just has to come and show off. Huh? Ha! 30, 38 months. Yeah, you gotta show off with those nice months. Hey? That's awesome. I'll be for a fourth. That's awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You don't have to be. Rem remember, if you are struggling anyway, cancel. Don't um, put yourself out the way from, from, for me and my channel, okay? Thirty-eight months. I thought YouTube member me membership just started. No, it's been a while for. A it's been on for a while, hasn't it? I'm sure it has. Sure, it has been on for a while. Sorry, I've actually changed my microphone. If you guys haven't seen, my microphone is now the other way around. 
So b before it was facing down, but now it's facing up. I don't know. I'm trying it out. I don't know if I like it. it doesn't even look good. I, I think I preferred it the way down. I don't know if it sounds better. I don't know. I don't know. I've been here since the beginning. That that is true. That is very true. I mean, flip flop has been here since the very beginning. Like, uh, it's her and another guy named Diz, if I remember correctly. Big J, uh, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So guys, that copyright strike that I actually, um, I got on my channel, I, I think it affected me quite a lot, by the way. Uh, a lot of the, um... A lot of the ranking on my videos just didn't work out. Like, I really struggled to hit a thousand views every single time. And not, it's not usually like that. So, I'm interested to see now that that's gone and see if it, uh, actually, it's actually changed. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's actually kind of a good thing that I did get a copyright. Because i kind of learning new things and, and finding ways to, to go about things. Bad Hawk with a $20 donation. Hey, you're streaming and I'm at work. So sad. Oh, no. Oh man, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Let's see if I've got some. I got this for you, right? That's all I got. I'm sorry. Mr. Reach with the mic, game in strong. Seven days to die, all night long, crafting and fighting in this virtual domain. South African YouTuber, game is my main. Crafting strategies, building my fort in this digital world. I'm holding court. Zombies on the prowl, but I ain't scared. With Mr. Reach in the game, I'm prepared. So here we are at the end of our ride In the world of survival where we thrive If you like killing in the blood moon Then in the gaming world I'll see you soon Are you allowed to say um, why it was found to be allowed? You're talking about the video um, Yeah, of course There's nothing There's nothing like seriously legal about it It's just that it would, if it became into a legal battle Then it would have been a problem that's why I kept quiet most of the time. The strike, yeah. Okay, so let me quickly explain how the strike system works. Okay, so let's say you now take my video and you go and you repost it on your channel. Exact video, right? Uh, I will then automatically get a notification on my YouTube channel. I have about, I think it's like four options. I can archive it. I can send an email to the guy who uploaded that to tell him to stop. Or, or remove it, or give me credits, or whatever. Uh, and then I have another option to tell YouTube to, to, to take it down. And when I tell YouTube to take it down, that person automatically gets a strike on his channel. You get three strikes and you're out, by the way. Your channel's gone. Okay? And when that person gets a strike, he gets an option to either email the person who striked him, or counter notification, or counter the, the DMCA. Um, when, when you counter it, you basically are doing this, right? And you are sending all your personal information, by the way. So that, uh, I'm not going to even go around the bush here. Spot 85, right? That's the guy. All right. Um, he, he knows all my information. He knows my address. He knows my, my, my full name, my surname, I'm my phone number. Boy. He's got it all. I sent that to him by automatically YouTube sends it to him. And he then can now has to take that information to lawyers and get a proper documentation out and then send it to me. And then only then my strike will hold. And then obviously the whole court proceedings will go through. He didn't do that. Either it's too unaffordable for him or it's um, he thinks I was he thinks he's wrong. It's one of the two. Probably unaffordable. <laughs> Probably. But yes, that's how it works. But. In this regard, I think that uh, YouTube did a, did a good job at it. I think YouTube, I think it's all in fairness, YouTube did a good job at kind of sorting it out in, in its way that it can. Um, that's BS. Even actual criminals get three strikes. I don't know, like, I, I've been on YouTube for how long? And I've only got, like, one strike now, so, yeah. Okay, guys, here we go. We are playing. In fact, let me drop that gun because I spawned that in for the, uh, the thumbnail. When I first played, or when I first got in to do the thumbnail. I have no idea what to do, but we have this book here, right? This is your starter class 
paper. Use its recipe to craft your class, which grants you a selection of first aid items, weapons, along, so, along with ammo. If you drop this or lose it, there is no way to get it back other than start a new game. So I guess we... How do we... How do we use this? Do we use it? Oh, okay. So then now we have to choose what we want to be. That's going to be interesting. And I have no idea. It's a lot like, I think, uh, what 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 did this? I think Darkness Falls did this, didn't it? Or Undead Legacy. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Class Rifleman, Medic, Miner, Hunter, Gunman, Farmer, Engineer, Builder... Man, and it, the problem is it doesn't even tell you what they do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm a pretty good gunman, but that's kind of useless if you think, if, if you ask me. Definitely, you're definitely a farmer. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm definitely a farmer, according to Mr. Mr. Pittsburgh there. Yeah, no, I'm a crafter. That's why. Where's the crafter option? <laughs> I'm a crafter. <laughs> Um, guys, honestly, I think I'm gonna go for gunman. That's just me, right? I, I'm a gun guy. I, I like big guns, right? I, I like big guns. Oh, that does tell you. Gunman class weapons are MP5 along with its ammo. Uh, handguns, automatics. So, okay. Alright, we're doing it. And there you go. You actually start with a gun, which is nice. And then you get a bunch of uh, handgun magazines, which is also very nice. What's this? Uh, this box contains the following items. I don't even know what this is. HDC in whatever, just open it. Uh, this item uh, to add to HD gun bench to allow production of HD handguns. Oh, I see, okay. It's like a mold. Oh no, let's grab that. What is that? This is a specialist. This is a specialized version of the standard repair kit to repair automatic guns. That's nice. And then we got ourselves a baseball bat and um, HD honey bandage. Okay, nice. So that's where we are with that. Do we get a? Um, okay, so we still have to do the uh, the basic missions here. Well, doesn't look like it's all of them because this is just craft the bedroll. Right, craft a bedroll. Let's do it. I like the UI, by the way. I think the UI is pretty good. I think it's really nice. It's very, like, uh, distracting, but it's nice. It looks really good. Uh, it looks like a game. A game UI. Good job on placing your bedroll. Yeah, well, that was hard. Uh, you can now head towards the trader. Welcome aboard, player. Nice. Okay, so the trader is... Oh, wow, like, right here. Nice. Nice. So, again, guys, I have no idea what this mod's about, right? Absolutely no idea. I don't know what we're going to come across. I don't know if there's new zombies. I don't know if there's new missions. It is an overhaul mod, so there's a lot of new things going on here. we got to kind of get used to. So, let's just see. And I don't know what we need. Like, you know, your normal vanilla game, I know what I need and know what I can take. But, like, now, for instance, gas. Is gas going to be something we really need in this mod? I don't know. And then, like, a seed? Don't know. Oh, wow. Well, we do have um, some custom zombies already. We've got a burning doggy over there. Okay. And then we've got a flying zombie. Oh, whoa! Ah, uh, okay. Definitely not... Okay, that dog is coming straight for me. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to reload the gun. Don't die, like, now. Okay, just a standard... Okay, and then we got some, <laughs> some, what is he called? He's called, oh wow, why is he, why is he red? He's so red, oh wow, almost died, okay, die. Jeez, man, looks like he got burnt somewhere. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think, I think we definitely, oh, you can just, oh, okay, so you just, that's cool. So you just pick it up like that, okay. I like how all the, like, the, uh, the original zombies, look at them, they look so cool. Looks really nice, actually. New version, do tell. It's a mod, guys. I'm playing... Uh, it's in the title. It's in the title. And when the stream is done, I will put it in the description if you want to download it as well. He's been in the sun for too long. <laughs> yeah, he has. Murky water! We'll take the murky water. Might come in handy. 
And then we found ourselves, oh wow, okay, so we've got backpack, rucksack upgrades. So I'm assuming, uh, we've got nothing to put it on, but I think if we get some clothes, we can then add these uh, rucksack upgrades to increase our bag capacity, which is nice. Which is a little bit like a pocket mod, which is, which is very cool, okay. We just got like I now I don't know exactly what what I need what I need to collect, man. That's the problem when you play. I'm gonna need that definitely cornmeal. Uh, beware of the Harley Quinn. Is th is that a thing? Is that a thing? Feathers and glue. I feel like glue and bones and stuff is still gonna be something we're gonna need for sure. So we're gonna collect that stuff. And then the gas again. I, I could probably sell the gas. Can I sell the gas? Yes, it does have a sell price. Uh, we'll need to just take all the gas and see if we can just sell it at the trader. So we'll loot the trader like crazy because again, I don't know what the hell we're going to be needing in the apocalypse. And by the way, I've actually heard some pretty good things about this mod. I've, I've seen a lot of people play it. But I've never actually really tried it. I think it's because I'm so scared. <laughs> Especially on livestream, am I mad? I, I've, I've gone mad. I've just found a rifle. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, old cash, some arrows. Yeah, so like doing like new mods and stuff. Well, my brain is like half capacity. Or even a quarter of the capacity working when I play on live stream. That's why it's, it's better to play simplistic games. <laughs> Not new ones. Alright, let's grab this. Some more bones. Old Sam Sandwich, does that still take the health down? Yeah. I think there is... There might be some vitamins. That's going to come in handy. There might be a... I don't know if it was the old trader, not the new one. If there was an ammunition box somewhere. Take this stuff. Right, let's read some chats. Um, How many... Um, deads before the hour is up? Bets are open. Oh, thanks, Dante. That's so nice of you. You're such a nice guy. Look at you. <laughs> On my first day back. No, guys. I'm not going to die, right? I'm a professional. We all know this. There's not going to be any dying today. Oh, what can I loot all this? Yes! Like, this is not lootable in vanilla. No, I don't want that. I'll just scrap that. And this, yes, yeah, is ammunitions. Oh, my goodness. This is the problem now. There's so many new things. This is a schematic. This is an HD schematic. We'll unlock the item shown. Looks like a silencer. Yeah, military grade suppressor that could be attached to a HD cult. Okay. And then we got uh, Duke's casino coins as well. I'm interested in this flare. Does this flare actually flare? It does too. I don't really understand how it works. Like, <laughs> why do you need a flare? Is it like for light? Uh, left, left click on the ground to activate spawn. Maybe it's for a mission or something. I'm not sure. We'll take a look when we're out of the trailer. Let's just hand this in quickly. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's sell. Sell, and then we'll sell as much as we can to make as much money. The gas as well. Okay, uh, we can check out. So ammunition, guys. I'm probably going to need a lot of ammunition. What does this shoot? This still shoots 9 mil? I think so. Let's see. Yep, still shoots 9 mil. So we'll buy like one or two. Okay. It's been a really right, missions. Is there any new missions? Yes, there are new missions. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, fetch. This is a clear mercy point camp. Hmm. Tier 1. That sounds fun though. I'm gonna do that. God bless you. God bless you. I enjoyed it in A2020. Oh yeah? It shouldn't have changed much since then, surely, right? It should still be very much the same. Uh, throw and get stuff. Throw and get stuff? What do you mean? I'll wager about one per 30 minutes. Really, Yvonne? Well, you guys are so nice. <laughs> no, I'll be okay, guys. I, I got it under control. Where's this mission at? 
Um, wow, there are so many things going on here. Yeah, so we have to head towards that way. 400 away. Let's go. Let's go see. Oh, look at you all fancy. Ah, what are you doing? Never know if these, these things are going to spit at me or something. Uh, who's the creator of this mod, by the way? I don't even know. Snowberries! Why are snowberries here? Crescentium, that's for painting, if I'm not mistaken. Cotton. Uh, goldenrod flowers. Okay, so this all changed. I think taking, like, strawberries. Can you eat them straight off the bat like that? Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can, but you have a 10% chance of dis dysentery, which is not a very good thing. So, yeah, we get to risk it. Oh, and I, I can see some custom buildings as well. One second. There you go, it's a custom building. I'm assuming that they've added the custom buildings. What is this zombie? <laughs> what the hell, man? Holy crap, look at you! Look at you! <laughs> this is... You should have named this zombie Yvonne. This is what, every time Ivan types in the chat, this is what I think of. Yeah. <laughs> Snow heavy zombie, look at this guy. Too much McDonald's, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness, coffee beans, hops, potatoes, blueberries, what is this, yucca fruits. Hmm. Lots of things around. Lots of uh, stuff to pick up. Let's give that a munch. In fact, I must check the canned food. A lot of these mods like to add a chance of getting sick uh, with canned food. Howdy. Hello, Num. Num8, how you doing? How's things? Welcome to the stream, everybody. It's good to have you here. Sorry I haven't streamed in a while. I might not stream for very long tonight, guys. As I'm actually very, um, very sore at the moment as well. I had a, uh, a, mas a massage. A massage. Uh, it was a deep tissue massage. And what? That is sore. What is this on me? Experiment Z. Oh. He's a, he's a strong guy. But I, didn't, I, I, had, I had the massage like two days ago. It's only affecting me now. Man, is it sore. It feels like I got the flu. You know, like when your bones are sore. That's what it feels like. Goes well. Uh, what about you? Hey, got my answer. Yeah. I'm doing okay, guys. I'm fine. I've got the special stuff that I'm drinking, right? I got it from the shop. It's like hydration something. It's apparently good for your stomach. It smells bad, which means it's probably good. And it tastes bad. If it tastes bad and it smells bad, it's probably good for you. Just don't drink acid. <laughs> So, uh, this is one of the missions that I have here. This is probably the camp that I gotta clear up. It sounded so much cooler than on the, uh, on paper. You know what, I actually might turn this into my base, actually. That's a probably, a, probably a wise idea, because I need some place to settle down. I don't even know what happens at night time. Because some of these mods, especially like Darkness Falls, when I play it that the first time, holy crap, night time just gets really bad. Excuse me? Oh, look at the little chickens! Well, that doesn't make sense. A cute baby bee. Oh, the chickens. <laughs> okay. I didn't know there's little chickens. That's cool, man. Look at that. There's a little chicken, yeah. That's really cool. Fun pimps? Huh? You know what would be pretty cool if the fun pimps would add? Like, if you would walk up to a nest, the bird would fly away. That would be kind of cool. That would make sense, right? Like, if you eat, like, in the area and it flies away, at least you can see the nests a little bit easier. That's a pretty nice idea. Okay, I'm a little bit scared now. I don't know when I'm gonna come across here. Yeah. I don't recall seeing this POI, but this looks like a normal fun pump POI. Hello! This looks new, right? Is this new? 
I've never seen this before. I think, I, I think, I don't know, actually. I don't think it's new. It is new. There's a zombie in here! <laughs> That's so cool, man. Look at that. Hey! Hey, you okay? You need some help. Do you need some help, man? Look at him. Yeah, that is definitely new. I have ammo for the other gun too? No, I don't. No ammo for this gun. Oh man, it's all strapped in there, it looks very cozy. Even this, yeah, I've never seen this before. I've only got ammo for this gun. I've got quite a bit of ammo, so if I can do some headshots, might do me very well. Excuse me? You don't look like a zombie! <laughs> oh! Well? Okay, he hit me while he was on the ground, okay. There's a hillbilly. Oh, he's wrecked. It's tried to wrecked. Oh no! Try to wreck a zombie! A lot of you guys will not- A lot of you guys will be happy about that. You guys don't care about Mr. Try to wreck, do you? Oh, cigar! Nice, we'll wear that, and then we got a dress that we can wear. Brilliant. Wonderful. If I break that... No, okay. I'll try to loot as we go. I think we will stay here, guys. We will, we will stay in this little uh, campsite here for now. So we can drop some stuff, but we'll clear it out and then we'll stay and then we can get some armor. Wow, all the stuff that I'm picking up is nice. It's a good start so far. Just learn these things. Excuse me, don't be doing that now. So far the mod is, is, is kind of um, like the start of it is really good, right? It's not like overwhelming. Like, I know Darkness Falls, that's like no joke, man. As you start. As you start. Chaos. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm saying it's, uh... <laughs> Chaos! Not flesh, just brains. It hurts. Wait. Oh, oh look at this zombie! That zombie looks so cool, man! We need zombies like that in the normal game. Wait, there's a zombie that's breaking on my walls now. Hey! How do I sort him out? If I stand over here, maybe? Is that a zombie with like... What is this? Oh, Marley. There you go. And I just noticed you can crawl under one block spaces, guys. Look at this. If I can find it now. <laughs> uh, I can't find it, but you can crawl. Hmm, where can I do it? I think Darkness Falls does the same thing. I can do it here, right? You can crawl, like, under this thing. Even probably through... Yeah, look at that! You can crawl through that! That's super cool, man. I wish they would bring that back in 7 Days to Die. That used to be a thing. Used to be able to do that. Uh, but you can crawl through stuff. That, that'll, make th that'll make things so much nicer to get away from stuff. Oh? Why has it got one slot? I don't actually like Jen. She's too passive aggressive for my taste. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Wouldn't be saying that in my chat, man. I'm pretty sure 99% of the people in the chat love Trader Jen, right? That's their that, that's their thing, man. They love that. They love it, man. Don't be dissing Trader Jen now. But here's the real question, right? Here's the real question for those long-time viewers of the channel. If you had to pick between RJ and Trader Jen. Who would you pick? Now that is a hard question, isn't it? So sorry I brought that upon you. So sorry that I brought that upon you. I'm scared. Is that gonna hurt me? It's making sounds. Such a big inventory space. I don't think I have unlocked most of it, because I think I, I might be encumbered. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I think I might be encumbered. I don't know where the icon is for it. I think I am. What is that noise? Oh, there's a survivor! Oi! Help! Look there, there's an actual survivor. That's that's cool. It's, uh, Darkness Falls has that, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot the survivor now. Hey! What's up? I think she wants to hurt me. <laughs> she, 
She wants to hurt me! Hey, what did I ever do to you? We'll just leave her there. Doesn't look like she can... There's another one of these zombies here. It's kind of it's kind of a nice idea for a POI, like the Fundum should do. And zombies don't die, right? So you just have them, like, chained up to the wall and, like, people trying to do experiments and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Just come out of there. Alright, well... Oh, now you come out. Most inconvenient time. Uh, food and drugs, yes. Okay, uh, one shot. One shot. I'm a bit worried about that, that survivor outside. Archer's already taken now. Oh, I mean, like... Um... Uh, what do you think Trader Gen's not? Right? All the nice ones are taken, man. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> They've been gobbled up. They've been gobbled up. Oh, there's more chickens, yeah. I actually, oh, you actually do get little baby chickens from that. Can you eat them? Hey, you can eat them! Oh, what? Minus 50 health. Holy crap! <laughs> That's a penalty. Is this person going to be my friend or is she going to beep me up? No, she's called Raider. I don't trust her. That's some ra- Oh, crap! <laughs> wow! Spread them legs, my don't you? <laughs> Did you guys see that? It's insane. Oh, there you go. Here's the end game. But yeah, we'll live here, guys. This is home. Uh, maybe that shelf is a backflip. She has front and back. Okay, I have no idea what we're talking about, but uh, it sounds bad, so I'm just going to keep quiet. I'm not saying anything. I find some lots of like uh, armor pieces up here. What's this? First aid bandage. Nice. All right. Looks like an anime. No, it looked like a western. Some sort of western. Uh, um, what would you call it? Raider. All right, guys. I think we'll live inside this room here. We need to make ourselves an axe. Can I actually do that? Wow. No, that's an HD one. We'll make the ordinary one. And then we were just living here, guys. We can open and close this gate. And I actually need to really make storage as well. So we can drop some of the stuff we've picked up. Like, I can't really carry... In fact, now that we've got some armor, let's just get inside here quickly. Can we increase our space? So we can put that on there, like that. I only put one per armor, okay. And then, what about this? Can I put that? Yes, I can. Nice. Wow, that's increased the space by... A lot? Like, almost everything? Really? That's crazy. Now I can run around as normal again. There's a zombie somewhere this side. Underneath, maybe? I'm not sure. Can I crawl under there? <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> These are class quests that need to be... Com there are class quests that need to be completed. That's nice to know. It's just like Darkness Souls, though, isn't it? So, your class quests, where are those quests? Here, yeah, right? But these are not what I, uh... Which ones do I do? Oh, there you go. This one here would be, the, would probably be this one, right? Yeah, we, we will do that at some point, but at first, let me just quickly... Make some storage and stuff, and then we can drop some things. Not that we really need to now, because we've got lots of storage, but let's just drop some stuff. Let's get some wood. I wonder if I can make storage. It's one thing I hate most about Seven Days to Die is the forest mine. It looks so ugly. It looks so grainy. It just looks, it just looks horrible, man. I hate it. I've never liked it. The snow biome looks looks great. The, uh, in fact, the snow biome's a little too white at times, but the desert biome is probably the best. Thank you, Aaron, for the uh, 
for the mention there, for letting me know about the uh, class quests. Sorry if I'm a little bit slow, guys. I'm not, I uh, haven't been uh, streaming for a while, so it's a bit uh, difficult when you haven't been doing it for a long time and you come back to it. Happens like that. I haven't finished quests don't wonder for far. Um, yeah, I haven't wandered too far, though, like, from where I started, I was just down there, so, not too far. Right, can I actually, yes, I can make storage, so we'll make about three of those. And then we'll just put things we're not going to really use at the moment, just so we have a, a place. And this should be perfectly fine, we'll just plonk it in the air. Oh, why? Oh my goodness, okay. You like that, then? about this you have not cleared it yet yeah I know there's a zombie like under the floor or something which we will uh, we'll get to now let me just drop some stuff quickly so I put all my food and stuff in here so we know where that is uh, I can't really eat these baby chicks because it's like minus 50 health <laughs> yeah so like the guy who made this mod just doesn't want you to eat baby chickens I'm just saying clearly 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 so, can I eat a bee? Yes, but that's like minus 30 health. Why is that? Why don't they like... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh, right, that should be fine. And then all parts and stuff like... This is a gun repair kit, which we will need at some point. And things like all this, yeah. So, And then the coins will just chuck in there. So, that should leave us with... Wait, how do you sort auto-sort your inventory? Is that not an option on here? I'm looking at it now. I'm like, mm, it's not auto-sorting. Can I not auto-sort? I'll put all my ammunition in there as well. Wait a second. I do have rounds. I picked up rounds for this gun as well. Alright, let's find that zombie. It's like... It's either above me or underneath me, so... Let's jump up here quickly, let's see. Oh, in here. In here. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Hey, how, how did you get in there? I, I think it might be inside here. Yeah, what? How the hell did you get in there? Get out of there. That's, hey, you're no clipping. That's not fair. Oh, I locked it. Is this the is this the lock feature here? There you go. Thank you for that. How do I, how do I I have to sit and oh my goodness? <laughs> how did you find yourself in here, zombie? Uh, let them go. They will grow up to be chickens on the ground. Really? But do you have to, like, enclose them so they don't escape? So you can grow, like, your own chickens and stuff in this mod. I think you can. I've, I, I did see that somewhere in one of the posts. So you can have, like, your own farm and stuff like that, right? I think so. My goodness. Wait a second. Let's just check this. Please don't have... Thank you! A mod that has sense. Canned food that has a 0% chance of dysentery. Thank you so much. I hate it when, like, some games have uh, a chance to get sick from uh, canned food. It should never be like that. If you find canned food, it should be sealed and, and, and safe. Oh, I am going to slap you silly, you zombie. You could have jumped down this whole time, and you never did it. What's the name? Uh, Aaron was right. You could drop from the ceiling. Bloody bugger. And you! Keep quiet, Tom! It's gonna be my pet. We have a pet, guys. We'll call him Tom. Yeah, you just keep quiet. You, you just stay there. You do your thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're upset. Whatever. Uh, of course I pressed the wrong button. Nice. <laughs> okay. So guys, uh, have you guys watched the new Fallout series, by the way? Has anybody been watching the new Fallout series? What do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? Wait, did I loot this? I don't think I looted this, uh... 
Was it ambulance? Did I loot the ambulance? I don't remember. There's still quite a bit that I can loot here. Yes, I did. Okay. Like, I think... I don't know if I can loot that. That's, that's cool. Uh, I guess you didn't uh, hear about the old cans of meat from the 70s that were um, sold as surplus from the Swedish army. Um, no, probably off right. Pretty good so far. Four episodes in, I haven't. Yeah, canned goods get... Uh, yeah, but like generally, like you find can Like it, it's just a, a staple in the survival community genre. Like in... So, uh, Daisy, for instance, you find canned food, you'll only find canned food because it was the stuff that would last. You know, you like find a canned, canned um, peas or pears or something. It's like, yes, that'll last. Don't have to worry about it. I don't have a problem eating it. Uh, three episodes in, it seems okay. Yeah, uh, it's very nice. Yeah, it could do without the forced, intense close up of the gore, though. The can, the first canned food experience ever. Spoiler: They all died. Oh yeah. Yep. So the Fallout series, right, guys? I I tried. I really tried. Um, no, let's not bother with that. I think we're gonna go and hand this mission in before he closes. So I I I finished episode three, I think. And I just can't, guys. I, I, I don't know if I like it too much. It's too... Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously, I think. I think it, it's just like a joke. You know, it's like... It's unrealistic. It's weird. It's strange. It's... The CGI is weird. It feels like it doesn't belong. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I like it, to be honest. I see a lot of people really like it, but... I don't know. It's not for me. I, I tried. It's the same with the Fallout games. I tried so many times to like the Fallout games. Not one did I like. I tried. I really tried because I loved uh, the Elder Scrolls games and it's very much similar in, 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 some, in some way. Keep on trucking. Thank you. Put a bed or something down. Yeah, but don't when you die, you can just spawn in the area. I don't know if that's a thing with this, uh, this mod, but we'll put it down anyway. Thank you for the... For being a member for 24 months, you are absolutely awesome. Thank you, man. You are doing very well there. Appreciate it. It's a very modern for Lati, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. I don't really like it. It's just a bit strange. It's kind of the same way they're going with the Twisted Metal series. I'm not sure about that one. I don't know what that is. I always felt like, uh, you know, uh, Fallout could be very nitty-gritty type of thing. You know, take it serious, you know, and, and dive deep into the lore. But that series that came out is, yeah, that's... That's not serious at all. It's just a joke. Here you go, friend. Right, we got some ammunition, which I'm definitely going to take. Well, the cobblestone actually might be better. Let's take the cobblestone. And then we got 300 coins from that. And then... No, well, we won't take another mission because I know for a fact that we uh, have to do the other missions that were given to us. Let's actually loot this trader properly. There's a lot of things here that I haven't really checked out. Some nails, which we can use to get some proper storage chests, and then there's a forged iron. Uh, lots of stuff in here. Uh, it hasn't taken itself seriously since Fallout 4. I don't know, when I played it, it felt quite, quite nitty-gritty. Did I loot everything in here? Like, I wish you could loot all this stuff. There you go, there's something I haven't looted. A level 4 bow? No. <laughs> We're not using no bows. <laughs> it's not happening. Guys, just let me just check my AC here. It feels way too hot in here. Why do they not put a light in the actual remote? I can't even see. Wow, I feel like... There's something gone wrong here. There you go. 
There you go, there's something in here. Oh, nice. HD armor plating, which is going to become very in handy. I hope i got places to put that. I think I can put one in here. And then I might be able to put one in here. Right there. Okay. Nice, that's going to help out quite a bit, I'm sure. Well, Gun racks. Level 6 knife, which is definitely something we need. Um, oh, wow. That gave me all the parts to craft the ammo. Oh, you guys know me. <laughs> I'm not going to craft no ammo. Probably need to do it in this mod. Oh, no. We found better stuff. Level 6 armor ratings better on that. Okay. Oh, get up, okay. Then we'll move over the stuff. I wish it was like an auto move. It's so annoying to do all this. Why is the level 3 lower than that? That's annoying. But that's okay. Don't worry about that. We'll use it just because it's, uh. It's better than we'll just sell that other one. Or we keep it for the Go next year. We'll keep it rather. New goods daily. Um, a pipe shotgun will come in handy. I'm pretty sure. Because I know I got some ammo at base. Uh, small ammo. Bullet tips. A scope. So many things to loot. And another scope. And then we can just sell what we don't want. This one here, the four times scope, the eight times scope, we'll sell. Uh, we'll sell, 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 sell. It's hard because, like, like I said, I don't know what I need. If you look at the emitter with your camera, you can tell if the IR remotes are working. No quick way to check if from uh, RF remotes though. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You're talking about this thing here. I don't know. There's no light on the front panel. It's very annoying. You can't even see. There's never, there never, there's never, there never has been a light on this thing. Although I feel like it's like really faded now, which is not a very good thing. Unless there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a, wow. I don't know why it's so, so bad. RJ, please fan, Mr. Reach. RJ, please fan. Oh, yeah, RJ needs to sit here. I don't know why this is on low. Come on. It's so hot. Why? Dying in here. Hold shift plus what? Will auto move. What do you mean? Where are all the bots? No, I don't even mention them. All right, guys, let's go. Um, let's figure out what we need to get for the uh, the stuff here, right? So we've got missions that we need to do. Mm -mm. Where are they? They're here. So there's this one, the gunman. So we'll track that and we'll see what we need to gather. And then we uh, we do have skills here, right? So do we? Okay, so yeah, I have points available. And then obviously we we're going into gunman here, so we're gonna have to find a perk that is good for shooting. Gunslinger wouldn't be gun? Would it be gunslinger? Or would it be? I think it's more along the lines of uh, machine gunner, right? Yeah. We'll go machine gunner. We'll go agility. Uh, we will go definitely Lucky Looter. Pain Tolerance. We'll go Pain Tolerance as much as we can, because that stuff is amazing. There you go. Perfect. Okay, what do we need? We need a forged iron. We need 50 forged iron. 50 mechanical parts. 10 duct tape. Scrap polymers and springs. Okay, so... Everything there shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's see if we can get that out of... Um, let me just build these blocks here quickly. I'm quite curious. If we can find those street lamps. And if one, if we use a, a stone axe, we can actually get that stuff from that. Let's see. 
SMG linked to Gunslinger. Is it, no. I don't think it is, is it? No. 9mm. I mean, yeah, you're right, it's 9mm, but it's machine gun, isn't it? Looks like a box to me, you reach. No, wait, there's no box, I haven't built anything. I haven't built no nothing. Wait, I'm not seeing many street... Uh, oh, here you go, he has one over here. I'm just This thing here. Oh, there you go, I was wondering. To break it open. It is. Wow, okay, did not know that, actually. What do we got? Wow, that was nice. Jeez, that was great. And this this mod isn't like too difficult early early game. It really gives you a lot. Look in the crafting menu. Yeah, no, no, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Uh, please give me forged iron. If this gives me forged iron, what's well, only gonna give me like one forged iron? I'll need to get myself a. Uh... Wait, didn't I wear that stuff? No. Okay. I'll need to get myself um, a wrench or something. Supposed to give me forged iron. There's a zombie that's uh I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh there is a survivor there, look at that. Yeah, you beat that zombie's ass. Oh crap, there was a zombie here. <laughs> Oi! Do I have a sprained leg or anything now? I think I do. I think it said I had a sprained leg. Whoa, man. You look way too natural to be a zombie. These, these, uh, these survivors, right? Uh, is she gonna just, like, murder me if I go near her? Oh, there's Harley Quinn. There's Harley! Hey! Why, wow, you guys said to be, to be careful of her. She was pretty, pretty puny. Okay. Don't think you're gonna get good materials with an axe. I'm just curious, though. I'm very curious. Don't think you'll get good materials, but like one at least, maybe. Hi, Mr. Reach. Hello! Welcome! How you doing? Ah, yeah, so I just got, uh, scrap from it. I wonder if there's a chance that you can get it. I'm not sure. I'll need to get myself a, uh... Yeah, I'll need to get myself an actual wrench or something. I'll have to go find one somewhere. But everything else, like the duct tape's gonna be easy, polymer's gonna be easy, springs are gonna be challenging because I need a, a wrench. So polymers, there you go, I've already got the polymers done. Don't have to worry about that now. Let me quickly, uh, let's munch on that. Should be able to loot survivors. Oh, she just disappeared. Just been poof, gone. I'm a little bit worried if I should go in here. I don't know if I should be going in here. I like how you can do the geezer. That's cool. Sorry, uh, what do you guys call these things? Water heater. The zombies are very normal zombies. They're not like uh, too difficult or anything. Which is very nice. I love it. This mod so far is... Uh, is a bit pleasing, you know. Like when I played Darkness Falls for the first time. It did nothing but murder me. This one's pretty, uh, pretty friendly early game. Someone was saying it gets way more challenging at the end. Or like further on down the line. Which is nice. Yes, I've been in this POI before. There is an HD scrap wrench that is very cheap to craft. Is there? I'll take a look now. Got a lot of lag though, like my... PC's battling to uh, handle this. Like, let me see. Uh, scrap. Let's see what we have here. We've got a sc HD scrap wrench. Uh, oh, you're quite right. Look at that. That is like super easy to make. Thank you. We'll take a look at that now. I saw something shocking. I think it hit the vending machine. Yo! Electrified. Oh, okay. I'm assuming I don't want a zombie to hit that zombie to hit me. Yeah, most mods are pretty brutal in game. It's supposed to be. 
But some mods are like really bad uh, early game, which goes crazy. What is this here? We have... Oh yeah, so I do actually have um, a sprain. It does show at the bottom there. An iron spear. Hmm. No, we'll just pick it up. There you go. I'm not going to use it though. Mr. Reach, would you download um, Logan J. Hunter's mod Spider Verse on the Nexus mods? No traders, hard, and all Z's crawl. That sounds boring. Doesn't that sound boring? It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit boring. All Zeds crawl. Why, why, why are they all crawling? Hmm. Duct tape. So what we need to do is we need to get uh, duct tape made. So we need to get ourselves uh, glue and... S um, let's see. Sorry, I just heard something. Cloth. Need cloth. There you go, seven. It's a good thing they gave me a gun so early on. It's a struggle then all crawl why it's called Spider-Verse. That was a cop zombie. Looking pretty smart. Um. Some more cloth here. Let's actually loot that first. Get some more cloth. Hour in, nearly no deaths. Yeah, look at that. It's going okay. It's going okay. <clears throat> yeah, I still need more cloth. You wouldn't be much of a gunman if you didn't have a gun, that's true, yeah. I suppose if, they, if you were a farmer, they would give you a bunch of farming stuff, right? You can loot every single piece of cushion. What? <laughs> okay. I love all the I love all the different zombie skins. Yeah, I also do. It's kind of cool. It's nice to see like a new zombie, you know. Like, oh wow, what does he do? You know, like, oh, what does he do? Oh, five. And all, there's all custom people. Oh crap, there's a spider. Guys, there's a spider. There is a freaking spider. That thing is creepy as hell. Should I try and kill it? I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Run! It can jump! Oh no! Am I infected? What happened? He's dead! Man, if those people that are scared... It's like a robot. What is this? The scared of spiders. Sorry for you. I think I got some meat out of that. Hello. Is the AI different in, in this mod? I don't know. Yeah, that thing was pretty creepy, man. Especially when it can jump. There is something else over there, guys. Look at that. That's like a demon bear or something. Do you guys see that? It's all red. I'm not scared! Right, let's see quickly. I need to heal myself. There you go. Let's just put that on. 
It's a sleeping zombie? Really? You're just chilling there after all this time? Oh crap. It's a feral. It's a feral. There's a... Uh, another weird zombie here. Look at this thing. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of something from uh, Killing Floor. Oh my goodness, is that red? What is that? Guys, there are so many zombies. There's a little skeleton! There's a skeleton! <laughs> okay. Just worried about that demon bear. Gotta watch out. Let's just try and loot this thing here. There might be something good here. I think I'm very encumbered at the moment. Just walk in here. Yep. Nope. 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 We out of there. We are. We're going back to base, guys. Then we'll just wait until daytime before we go exploring things at nighttime. And they're chasing me as well. Maybe it's friendly. Oh yeah, go poke the bear. Go poke him and see if he uh, see if he's friendly. That's a great idea. I wonder if that's going to help. It'll bring my health up a little bit, right? Yeah, I think so. But yes, guys, I think I'm going to actually end the stream uh, pretty soon. I'm a little bit tired now. So, I'm so sorry. It's been only been like an hour. But I am feeling the tiredness. I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Yeah, my sleeping schedule is kind of like back to the old ways. I'm busy working on that as well. Like... Trying to fix everything is difficult. In fact, we'll just stop right here, guys. Because I am tired. I tried to do the stream tonight, and it was fun. Uh, this mod's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The way it started out was very nice. I think it's um, a great start. I don't think it's too challenging. Managed to survive the whole hour that we did this. And not die. Our performance is pretty bad. Like, it, I kind of expected that with a mod. Like, my PC is struggling to stream this. Um, hope you get better soon. I hope I get better myself, guys. I've got a bit of a stomach issue, right? I don't know what's going on. Um, I have a chance to go and get, like, a, uh, endoscope done. But, I'm, I, yeah, it's, uh, stressful enough to actually go and decide to do that, right? And it's very expensive. It's, like, what, $500 or something that I gotta get that done. Uh, but... I'm just waiting. I, I'm, I'm taking my medication and seeing if it if it goes away and stuff like that. I'm drinking nice stuff. I'm eating good stuff, and uh, I haven't really lost much weight. I've, I went from like 84 to 81. It's not too bad. It's just usual up and down. But other than that, I'm doing okay today. Yesterday I was okay. Today I'm okay. Uh, the doctors they told me that um, they're pretty sure that it's IBS, which is related to stress. I'm not sure if I agree entirely uh, that they say it's related to stress because when I first got like the problems and symptoms, I wasn't really stressed out. So, you know, only when I started getting more symptoms, then is when I, I started getting stressed out. That's the only time I started getting stressed out. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, so it's called an upper scop scop uh, something. So what they do is they take, uh, they're, they're gonna check me with some sleeping stuff. I won't, like, be fully sleeping. Um, but I will be kind of tired, really tired, but I won't remember. And then, uh, they'll put a camera down my throat while I'm kind of awake, but not awake. Takes about 15 minutes, they said, the whole, the whole thing. I gotta go down, check what's going on, see if there's anything problem. Uh, the good news is I don't have any blood. I've got no cramping of any kind. Uh, my appetite's... It's okay. It's not too bad. Sometimes I get really hungry, which is surprising. Yeah, it's quite uh, vague in general. It can be vicious cycle like that. Yeah, so I, I got no cramps, got no blood. I... Yeah, I don't like to talk about it, really. 
I think they say IBS when they don't know, uh, don't know and don't want to investigate further. Oh no, they 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 really want me to go get the scope done, but I'm pretty sure they get like money out of it. So, like two doctors now, two different doctors have told me to go and get a scope, and I'm like, isn't there something else we can do? Is this like five hundred dollars, and then it's five hundred dollars whether they find something or not. So you're still paying that money. So I go and pay that money, and then they find nothing. What a waste of money, you know. So yeah. Uh, the medicine that I'm actually uh, currently uh, using is helping quite nicely. I'm not going to lie. So that's it's, it's re uh, the medication is for IBS. That's what they say, and that's how they figured out I had IBS. So they've given me medication. They're like, take this. If this helps, then if this helps, we know you've got IBS. I'm like, yeah, well, this helps. So that's why they think I've got the IBS. Uh, I've got very bad heartburn. That's that's something they they want me to get a scope for is the heartburn. I take medication called uh, Peplock, which makes me feel I don't get heartburn. If I take that medication, I'm fine, no heartburn forever. Um, however, I gotta take medication every day, and then I'll never ever 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 get heartburn. As soon as I stop taking the heartburn medication, then bam, heartburn's back. If they found nothing again, leave it. Try regular walks and good diet. That's almost free. That's what I'm trying now. Well, I've been trying that a while. I've been drinking a lot of water now. Like a lot of water and no more gassy drinks. No more coffee, by the way. I've completely stopped that. Uh, I drink tea from time to time. That's got a bit of caffeine in it, but it's not as bad as coffee. But I drink a little bit of tea from time to time. But not, not, not as much as I would drink my coffee. Uh, but also, that's also why I would be a little bit tired and stuff on my streams now, because, like, I used to drink coffee to get me going, you know, and it really worked. Stop eating so much pizza or stuff for tomato sauce. Yeah, 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 well, that'll be your, your normal case of, uh, heartburn, but with my heartburn, it was literally everything, and it wouldn't be anything at some point. I'll just stop the medication, and I'll just get heartburn. I'll drink uh, water, I'll get heartburn. I will have something that won't give me heartburn. Give me heartburn. It's just like constant heartburn. Maybe it works at worst. You eat healthy and get fresh air. Yeah, I have plenty of fresh air by me. I live in the mountains. Plenty of fresh air. There's no city near me. There's no major like industrial city near me. I'm like plenty of fresh air by me. Like outdoors, it's like forest. Behind me here, there's just forest. So, plenty of that, which is nice. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. I think that, that, that also triggered me as well. Like, a lot of people that come and visit me here, they suffer uh, with uh, chest problems and breathing. It's just that they're not used to the air that's so clean and fresh here. Like, they're so used to the city air. It's scary, actually. The human body is such a complex system. I'm amazed we've figured out as much as we have seen. I'm amazed we're still alive. Hopefully it's nothing. It can be age, you know. Had to change stuff over the years as well. I don't think it's anything serious. Because if it was serious, it probably would have shown... Uh, it would have been worse. I mean, this whole time... It's been five months, guys. That I've been sick like this. On and off. I have not got... I have not um, gotten sick once. Like, bleh. Uh, I've never ever gotten sick once. Uh, I felt like it sometimes, but I've never really gotten sick. And I, like I said, there's no blood, there's no pain, there's no cramps. I feel a little bit of no nausea sometimes. And my stomach is growling and making noises. And um, yeah, a lot of mucus, you know. But that's about it. There's nothing else really. Man, I was dreading that. That's the last bit. Ugh. But the last three days, I've been feeling pretty good. So I'm hoping just to keep that up. Now, on top of that, drink good stuff, eat good stuff. I've gone to um, brown bread stuff, like all grain stuff, which is apparently better for the stomach. So I'm trying that stuff out. And I got, you know, like this juice stuff. Ugh. And water, 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 lots of water. But I'm not too, I'm not too concerned at the moment, like... If it's like pretty bad or anything, because if I've done blood tests, guys, blood tests came out 100%, not a problem with the blood tests, nothing wrong there. 
I did stool sample tests. Nothing wrong there. No infections. No nothing. Uh, what else? Yeah. That's the two things I've done. But they, the doctors tell me, hey, if there's something in your stomach, your blood tests might not pick it up. Um, so we got to get down in there with a the scope. And I'm like, oh, it's the worst possible thing you want to do to me. And, like, if you guys do not know my history, I have a history of uh, having a really bad panic attacks. Like, I'm okay, like, now, natural stuff. I can go out, I can go do things. And, but as soon as there's something intense happening, like that, for instance, I've got to take a special medication to calm me down. And guess what? If I'm going to go and I'm going to go do this operation, what they're going to do, this scope, um, I can't take any medication prior. That's from 12 o'clock at night to when I do the uh, operation. There's, I can't drink, I can't eat, I can't take any medication anytime uh, before that. That's going to be extremely hard for me because if I can't take my calming, medi my calming medication, I'm probably going to be having a lot of problems just in the parking lot as I get there. So that's great. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Uh, apparently, like, as soon as they inject me with that sleepy stuff, I'll be okay. I'll be calm, and I'll be sleeping. But, it's, it's, it's the whole process of, of, um, going to bed that night before, waking up that morning, getting ready, getting in the car, driving that distance, getting to that location, waiting for them. They always make you wait for some bloody reason. And sitting there and waiting for them to get set up. And then they... That whole process, that's going to be like... Having a mountain on my back. I, I um, prescribe you... I subscribe you to, to you a hug. Oh, that's great. I don't get hugs from RJ. No, I do. I'm just joking. They spent billions learning how to mind control, but bothering work out things that help people. Good figure. No, 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 they won't do that. They won't do that. Hey, uh, but there is another thing. Like, I heard in America they've got this stuff, but apparently not here. I've heard rumors, the doctor's talking about it, where you can, where, the, where they've got a new thing where they swallow a camera. So they don't put it down your throat anymore. They give you a little camera that you swallow and it goes through your whole system and it checks out everything and then obviously you poop it out and then you give it back to them and say, like, well, there you go, take a look. Apparently that's a thing. Take your meds, then camp in the parking lot for 12 hours. Camping with Rich. <laughs> yes, that would probably work. I got to do very abnormal things to make things okay. If you know what I mean. Like... Sometimes, like, especially when, like, the dentist stuff, when RJ goes to the dentist, I go with her to the dentist, I won't freak out because I know I'm not going to the dentist. But when I'm there, and I'm sitting there and I watch RJ get it done, I'm like, do me next. But obviously they can't because they do, they work on bookings and stuff. And I'm like, well, do me next. Yeah. Take me, do me now, like, do my, my teeth right now. Why, why is that better for me? Because I didn't sit... The night before, the days before, all that worrying about it, I'm there and then now, do it right now and get it done. That's what I would like to do with the with the scope. You know, just go there, say, hi, how's it going? Um, what's up, man? Um, yeah, I didn't eat anything. I didn't uh, do me. <laughs> Stick it down my throat. Do it. It's it's not about doing it. It's just about the procedure prior. The whole the whole the whole system prior to it. That's the problem, man. That's my problem. How does that, man? Ask the surgeon uh, to live stream the procedure. They will. They, they would probably never do that. They don't like that. Even the dentist. If you like holding the camera at the dentist, it's like, no, don't do that. Like, I, I don't know. They don't like that. Just get dentures reach. I highly recommend them. I hint that like sarcasm was in there. No, I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm not actually afraid of the dentist anymore. I'm actually not afraid of the dentist anymore. No, no, no. I, I had like a... Apparently, they said that this was like... When I went to the dentist back then to get this, this one tooth done, it was a root canal. Did everybody go crazy about a root canal? 
they went like, oh, root canal, oh, root canal. You know, that stuff is that stuff is bad, man. That stuff is horrible. That stuff is terrible. You know, that's all they would tell me nonstop. I got there. I did the root canal, man. It's the least most concerning thing I've ever done at a dentist ever. Yeah, it was the most simplest thing. It didn't hurt. It was great, actually. It didn't bother me at all. In fact, the one filling that I had hurt more than the, the root canal that I did. In fact, the root canal was actually the best thing I've ever done to my front my front tooth because I don't feel it anymore. Probably the best thing I've ever done. Um, yeah, never let them do root canals. Yeah, talking about root canals. Yeah, I did a root canal. It's the best thing I've done. Because I don't feel the pain anymore and my tooth is fine. It seems to be fine. Hello there. Hello. Sorry guys, we've actually finished doing the the thing. I'm a little bit tired now to play, so we're just having a bit of a chat before we go on. Root canal mostly depends uh, upon how twisted or not your roots are. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I I don't really know, but all I know, mine went pretty smooth. Never had really uh, any issues. Wait. What does your dentist do to you and the rest of the time? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Well, you got lucky then. All my root canals were bad. Isn't it? I, I would say it could possibly be like your dentist. Couldn't it be like your dentist just does the wrong type of procedure and some dentists do different types? Because when I spoke to like my dentist about it, I said that, wow, if you Google root canal and you just do research on root canal, it's like the most scariest, most painful thing. And she's like, yeah, the reason why is because um, they don't give you uh, an antibiotics prior. So what happens is your root is so inflamed and then they do the root canal straight on the inflamed, uh, basically, root. And that's what causes issues. So a lot of people never had the antibiotics prior to the treatment causing a massive problem. And I had antibiotics and all that, which is not nice. Antibiotics is not great. I, I don't do well with antibiotics. I get really sick with that stuff. Uh, don't have root canals. Well, so far, I've what's it been now? A year. About a year I've had the root canal for. So far, no problems. If it, if it, if it's bought me some time, I'm I'm fine with it with that tooth, because another thing that my dentist has told me is try and keep your main keep your teeth, um, as for as long as you can. It depends on if they actually catch it before the infection gets deep in tooth micro canals. I'm not sure why. They would, they, I, I know mine was really bad. In fact, if I left it for any longer, would have been, I would have ended up in hospital. Because I was so flippin' scared of the dentist that I left it for so long and it just been inflamed. And then they gave me like really strong antibiotics that I had to take for like two weeks and then go to the dentist. But those antibiotics kind of knocked me off. I was so sick. I'll tell you what, uh, joke all you want, but I'm never having a toothache or paying a dentist ever again. Oh, because of the, I know what you, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Rip them out. Uh, uh grandfather died from that. Uh, I had severe migraines for half of my life because of them. Yeah, I can imagine so. I can imagine so, man, Peter. Not nice, not nice to get a, a teeth problem. Yeah, not nice at all. Especially with all the food we eat nowadays, it makes it like 10 times worse. 10 times worse. It's like some of the food we got is horrible, man. So much sugar and stuff. I, try, I tried to go on a lactose diet for a week. Man, was that hard! Because it's like everything, like, it, it's difficult to go in like these things because like it's like nothing you can't buy anything that has that i got no dentures in my mouth at the moment i've never really had a problem with any of my teeth 
The only, the only, the only tooth that I've had a problem with was my front one, which I sorted out. Other than that, I've never really had a problem with any of my teeth my whole life. When I was younger, I never ate sweets and chocolates and stuff. Only now I start eating sweets and chocolate. Which is pretty good, I guess. I've got a couple of fillings, but other than that, I don't have any pain anywhere else in my teeth. I'm pretty happy with that, with the way that goes. When I'll get older, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll have issues, but right now... Touch wood, W, I'm fine. Spent years trying to get places to talk me to get to dentures or something, insurance covers, but never get a callback. Pisses me off. Ha! <laughs> Man, I'm not a fan of um, uh, doctors and stuff like that. They're always trying to make a buck, like a really big buck, especially the dentists. The dentists are so expensive, guys. Guys, so you know that I've been sick now, right? Uh, I paid. Let me, let, me, let me just quickly tell you what I paid for to see the doctor. Just to see the doctor and talk about my issues, that was about 41, 42, it was about $42. I went and saw the doctor, it was $42 for the consultation, for the talk and everything, for the subscription, for the medication. Okay, $42, so let's get the calculator out. So, 42 plus, uh, then once I did the, the, the doctor stuff, I went over and I got the medication, and the medication costed me, I think it was about a hundred dollars. Yeah, so I paid a hundred and forty-two dollars, about give or take plus or minus, just one one day, one day, for the doctor stuff, and that's medication that oh, it might work. Yeah, take it home, it might work. Might work. Might work. So yeah, to see the doctor, $42. And then the medication is like $100. And that's a Schedule 5 medication, by the way. That's about what we pay in Sweden for two for a visit. Yeah, in fact, that's actually... Um, that's slightly higher than your average. The average to, to, to see a doctor is about $30. Like your average doctor. That's in South African dollars. Like one, no, no, no. I, I converted, I converted it to America for you. When I say dollars, I mean American dollars. That's how much I paid. It's a lot for me, guys. Like you guys might think it might not be too much in American stuff, but it is a lot for me because it's like our currency is not that great yet. So when you take our money and you go to the doctor and stuff, but thank God, thank God, thank God, you guys are flipping supporting me the way you do. Like seriously. Thank, thank you, man. Peter, Yvonne, thank you. Nick, thank you, man. Seriously, I, I, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have made it. Um, like when these, these times that I, I have when I'm not doing content and stuff, I wouldn't have made it on just the videos. I would have not have made it. And then, like, I, I don't know. I, I did mention it on my one video. If you guys didn't know, there was a guy named Davis, right? Out of the blue, out of the blue. Sent me a thousand dollar donation when I was sick. I was lying in bed and I saw this message. I was like, what? What the fuck? You know, it's like, what? Why? I sent him a message and I was like, dude, that's like so much money. You don't have to do that. And he's like, no, no, no. That's for your car that you want to buy one day. I'm like, what? That's like a little bit far. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, guys. And I was like, I, I, I was busy. I was busy with it, right? I'm, I was busy with it. And I got sick. And I'm going to continue trying and trying and get that done. But that's insane. Davis, if you're here, you're a legend, man. Seriously, you've saved my, my butt. Big time. Big time. So RJ, RJ, actually, uh, RJ's getting uh, braces, if you guys don't know, uh, next month. Oh, I just, no, wait, this month? Or next month? This month? Next month? This month? Next month? I think it's, I don't know what month it is. Anyway, RJ's getting braces really soon. Like, really soon, RJ's gonna have braces. She, uh, she went for a, um, if you guys are following Discord and stuff, she went for a mouth surgical thing. She had seven teeth removed and one root canal. Okay, seven teeth removed and one root canal. 
And wow, do you want to know what that cost her? That's way more than uh, that's way more than mine. It's like three thousand dollars, guys. But thankfully, she's on uh, medical aid, medical insurance. I don't know what you guys call them, but we got, we call it medical aid. So she pays a, a monthly fee. Um, so that they paid for all of that, but that was about three thousand dollars for everything. And that's not included her braces. That's just the teeth removal and everything. Her braces are, are also like three thousand dollars or something like that. Yeah, her braces are I think three thousand one hundred dollars. No, three thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah, her braces are three thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what she's paying. But she's been saving up for like months. So she planned this like a year ago. So every month she was putting money away in, in a savings account. Saving, 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 saving. And she, she didn't make all the money that she needed, but she's going on a payment plan to actually afford the braces. She needs the braces, by the way. It's not something that uh, uh, she's just going for looks. She needs it because what's, what, what's happening is, what was happening is her teeth were growing into her gums. And it's, it's going to affect her in the future. So she had to get it sorted. So yeah, like, luckily, luckily RJ's on the medical aid stuff, right? Because if she wasn't, then, wow, she wouldn't have been able to do that. Not on her, not on her salary. <laughs> nope. Not happening. This is lifetime goal for her life change. It is, yes. It will, it would change the it would change her look as well, make her even more prettier, if you ask me. It does. Like if you have braces, it really it really changes the shape of your your front area. Her whole life, her teeth have been all over different directions. Oh my gosh! Like that Simpsons animation. Reach which one? Liars get braces. Uh, wait, no. Oh, oh, oh. Lisa gets braces. Oh yeah. Don't think I've seen that one. I don't. I hadn't really watched The Simpsons too much. I watched South Park, but not The Simpsons. I always felt like The Simpsons never had a story. Like, am I wrong? Every time I try to watch the, like the, the 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 very first ones, I like episodes that kind of connect with every other episode that goes on. I felt like The Simpsons was just craziness in every single episode. It wasn't anything, uh, oh, what would you call it, like, structural to it. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to head on off now, guys. Thank you so sorry for the uh, the very, very uh, slow stream tonight. I am tired and I'm still getting back into this. Uh, no, not really. South Park was more or less um, episodic as well. No. No, South Park had, like, story to it. Like, like it, each episode had a story um, that ended, that started and ended. With, uh, with The Simpsons, it felt like it was, like, the one episode was just like all over the place. I didn't really understand what was going on. They killed Kenny in some seasons. Yeah. And then it all led to, uh, the, I think it was like season 11 or 10 or something where it kind of showed you what, ha what, what happens with Kenny. Or who Kenny is actually like a superhero. If, I'm, if I remember correctly. Who killed Kenny? Uh, but the, 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 the newer South Park stuff I don't really like, to be honest. I like the stuff with the World of Warcraft episode and all that. That was cool. That was nice. Alright, guys. I'm heading on off. I'll check you around. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I will be back streaming when I can. Um, more war content next time I, I i don't know we'll see we'll just see how i feel 
So, um, yeah. No, well, no, uh, Kenny as, uh, like, Immortal. Or something like that. Yeah, I can't really remember. It's been a long time since i watched that. Bye-bye, everybody. Sleep well. Became a nightmare. I said it doesn't matter now, but it defeats me. Shackles around one's feet is not so neat. Oh, hurry with the kisses, your lips and the bomb. Every number counts, love token. Swallows fly when I was seventeen.